hi guys welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new thank you so so much for being here i'm bringing you a studio tour for this video you probably already know that but yeah i'm a little bit nervous about it because it's really easy to compare things online like you see all these picture perfect studios and i've just been putting it off because i thought maybe people don't want to see my space but it turns out quite a few people do <laughs> which is really really nice so yeah i'm gonna get straight into it share my studio with you this is a little sneak peek behind me i've kind of put my camera in a different angle but there's also a section behind me that i don't really show at all because this part here is like my backdrop so yeah let's just get into it let's go in to the office or studio whichever you want to call it Okay, so the first thing you're going to see when you come in, and people always comment on this, is Thalalee's home. So Thalalee is my hamster. She does need to have a rejig in here at the moment. She just needs a few things changing. I'm sorry the reflection is so bad, but yeah, she's the first thing you're greeted with. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's perfect for her, and yeah, she's really happy. So underneath, we have a IKEA Kallax unit. Now I bought this because that fit the home fitted perfectly on the top so I ordered them at the same time and thought well this is a perfect excuse to have more storage um, and the, the baskets are from Amazon and this is just a random pink one. So in the first thing we've got my sewing machine and you'll probably notice there's quite a few teddies around. Absolutely love teddies. They are my weakness. <laughs> My sister made this painting for me, and again, there's a few other bits and bobs. Um, we've got some teddies, some more teddies, um, and yeah, I just can't part with them, really. So they're all in that little space, and there's a few Winnie the Poohs around, as you'll probably notice as we go around the office. Okay, so in these boxes, we've kind of got art supplies. So this box is full of um, like watercolour books, colouring books artsy artsy fartsy stuff <laughs> um there's also pens and things like paints and um what else is in here we've got like um paint brushes all just artsy stuff i used to do a lot of traditional art so that's all in there and the same with this box here we've got mostly colored pencils there's like a flower press and just some bits and bobs that are useful when it comes to doing traditional art so though i keep that stuff in these boxes i think it just keeps it really nice and neat and then the rest of the boxes are kind of bits and bobs so this one down here is again crafty bits glue gun um some christmas decorations that are made yeah just really random stuff i'm not sure where to put we've got like a mask and the same with the box here oh no that's a lie this is all notebooks i have many many notebooks in here um too many i am obsessed with notebooks this box here has Thalalee's things in and this box is full of really random stuff. And then down here is also a little bit random. You see the, that spotty box here that has like wood wool in it, which is like a box filler, like an eco-friendly box filler. Need to find a new home for that really. But yeah, that's basically my unit. It's not the most organised thing, but it's useful. It keeps things tidy and it fits perfectly in this really weird gap that I've got in the office. Now onto this side of the office, which is the part that I don't often show. It's not the part I often film at. If you're interested, this wall is actually painted with tester paints from B&Q and masking tape, and it cost me a total of £12. Really cheap little DIY. It took me quite a while to do. That's that, and then I'll take you on a little tour of it. So this is my packaging cupboard. As the name states, it keeps all of my packaging. So let me show you inside. So this is my packaging cupboard. Again, I think everything in the office needs a little bit of organization, but it's really hard to keep up with things. So the top shelf is got eco-friendly cello bags, like cards and envelopes. And then there's different types of paper over here as well. Um, also just a basket of random kind of packaging supplies. And then on the middle shelf, this is where I keep 
my smaller boxes and envelopes so we've got a4 envelopes a5 a6 and then there's also a5 and a6 or c6 i think it's called boxes um for sending all your parcels and then the bottom shelf which is a little bit of a mess is more craft supplies basically there's a few so these are like small parcel boxes crafty buttons and things i can't remember what i was going to use these for i think it was for scrapbooking just random bits that i might find useful it's quite good to have it all tidied away in here so i can just close the doors and nice and tidy on the top we've got my tissue paper um, this is all flat 50 by 70 centimeter i think i just pull it out when i want some uh, I will explain to you over there what I want want to do for the tissue paper when we go to the other desk, but for now it's good here. I've also got some stationery. This needs to go in the cupboard, I don't know why that's there. And then, yeah, these are some of my A5 stationery, just somewhere to put it really. And my, what's it called? Art print paper. This is the paper that I use for my art prints. Yeah, so that's my packaging cupboard. Next is my turntable unit. It's a little bit of a mess, I'm not gonna lie. This turntable Aaron actually bought on our first Valentine's Day, I think it was, um, which was a really lovely surprise. But it's not just a turntable, so the turntable is in the top, but it's also a CD player, a tape player, and a radio at the same time, so got a bit of everything there. I don't use it that much at the moment, but I really wanna get some Mamma Mia vinyls so I can like, have a sing song in the office, I just think that would be really fun. And then the cabinet underneath is really unorganised to be, to be honest, there's not much to show you. I think there's a lampshade, there's some nail polish remover, so random, and light bulbs for my soft boxes. This blanket is Odin's, um, he's not in the office currently because he's having a nap. But he's either chewing this or sleeping on it, um, so I've just folded it up to put it there, it's normally like all across the floor. <laughs> Then we have my sofa, which I really, really love. I don't sit on it as often as I'd like to, although Odin seems to have made it as home. These two teddies are from Aaron, and hiding down here, I've actually got a hedge bob. Oh, this is my hedge bob from Emily Harvey. Her mum made them, and I'm so obsessed. I used to have an albino pygmy, pygmy hedgehog uh, named Willow, and yeah, I just had to get one because it reminded me of her. Just pop it there <laughs> and then i have two cushions a be happy and i know you've got mountains to climb but always stay humble and kind which is a song really love that and yeah that's my yellow sofa it's from home base if anybody wants to know it's like a really soft velvety material i really love it and it's just so me then we've got my windowsill i know the lighting isn't the best but on there i've just got another winnie the pooh um candles this was what my granddad made and my mum bought the candles for it really really love that there's not much to show you on there but it's cute um and then i have all of my assistant job supplies for packaging client boxes and this thing is full of like polymer clay and random bits and bobs again <laughs> there's random bits and bobs everywhere in here i swear okay and now on to the main part of the office this is where i work this is where i pack orders all things like that so I'll take you through bit by bit and, and show you around a little bit. This is my computer and my keyboard and mouse, I've also got little speakers. I just decided to go with a monitor and tower, so my tower is actually in this cupboard which is full of wires. Um, so I got an Acer tower and a HP screen and then here, oh I've got my tripod thingy there, We've got my printer, which has my little honeypot plant. It's not real. I'm terrible with real plants. And my little crocheted octopus. Yeah, so this is my printer. It is an Epson EcoTank. It's been amazing for my business, especially as someone who, when I first started, had so much trial and error and I would have gone through so much ink and it was just, would have been so expensive. So I'm really glad that we spent a bit more on the printer in the first place and got the eco tank i've only ever in the nearly three years that i've owned this printer had to replace the black ink but it's crazy how long it's lasted i'm so so happy with it i then have my cricket machine up on the windowsill is jewelry boxes a mirror from my great nan um a little winnie the pooh figure i didn't actually realize how much winnie the pooh i had in here that makes me seem a little bit crazy um but yeah my cricket machine is here Got some notebooks and in these drawers well this is a bit of a mess this is just some paper and my paper cutter this drawer is full of 
random stuff. Apparently I've got some, honestly, I didn't look in these drawers before showing you around. And then, do I have anything in here? Oh, I have some headphones. That's all I have in there. These drawers did used to have loads in, um, but I've kind of organized everything and well, I say that, <laughs> have I? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so here is my Cricut machine. I then have one of these pastel drawers, which I'm sure every small business owner has. This is full of stuff for scrapbooking, like the first two drawers, like other small businesses that I've bought from. I want to like scrapbook and, and keep all the goodies. And then I've just got some, that's more small business stuff. <laughs> Um, I do keep some product in here, so I've got some bookmarks. I need to sort out these drawers, to be fair. Um, stickers that need kind of finishing. Old product that I'm thinking of, like, taking out of my shop. Um, enamel pins that I want to get a display for. I will do a whole new video on that when I get around to it, but there are some gorgeous pins in here that I want to display, and my own, of course. Um, and the bottom drawer... It's more small business stuff. Um, yeah, so that's in those drawers. I've also got a little bowl of seconds badges and a picture that Aaron's parents bought for me. I then have my makeup brushes because part of my Alex drawers here, the bottom section is makeup. Um, so that's not very business related, but it is up here. Um, I've got a little bunny cup and a yellow giraffe thing. I think this is from Poundland, like, I love it, it's so cute. Some second stickers that need cutting and just putting in as freebies. And then I've got these from the wonderful Jazz. Jazz, if you're watching this, I these make me happy every day. Jazz illustrated me. She is at Jazzy Little People if you're interested. She does portraits um, and they're just so cute. This is my DTIYs, draw this in your style and she actually sent me her version. And I framed them because how could I not? They're just so, so lovely. Oh, I missed a section. We've got drawers here. What's in these drawers? We've got old product in here. We've got like props for photos and things. Um, and in the bottom drawer is all photography and lighting stuff. Got my old camera, um, a heat gun. Um, I don't know why the heat gun's in there. Maybe I should move that, but that's all in there. And I've got my bin which I actually emptied this morning normally this is overflowing <laughs> then we're on to my Alex drawers which I store so many of my products in again it needs organizing a little better um, but in here we've got badges and pocket mirrors and like backing cards enamel pins wooden pins uh, like seconds pins and my other enamel pin is at the back absolutely love these drawers they make me so happy key rings which is nicely stocked we've got um storms don't last forever there is good in every day you just need to find it there's also a rocket ship and a koala key ring which is just over there uh, then we've got some stationery which is running a little bit low actually i've got four to-do lists and i don't know six or eight a6 notepads uh, these are the find the good in today notepads also got some memory cards and things in there and then this is some prints and things that i don't want damp getting damaged um and my no issue tape which i'm really obsessed with um has this one got anything in it oh no the rest is makeup so from here down is all makeup really not that interesting but yeah that's my alex drawers they store so so much and i highly recommend them if if you need more storage because they don't take up loads of space either like i think this is like 30 something centimeters across 50 something back i just yeah it's crazy they are really heavy but i think they they're really good <laughs> okay now onto this part of the office which i think is my favorite this is where i pack my orders it's just i just love it and i just am able to share all these small business goodies some of it is cards from the shops uh, or cards from people that I want to display um, but a lot of it is either my work or other people's work and I'm absolutely obsessed with it um, if there's anything you see on this wall that you really like please just comment below and I will send you in the right direction because I really can't sit and list everybody but yeah it's just beautiful I'm so obsessed with this wall I think it's so pretty so yeah this is my packing desk um, I have some little drawers over here um, that I keep my washi tapes in. This box is my sticker storage box that I've recently done. Um, so everything's kind of in a section and I'm gonna try and keep on top of it and make sure I've got constant stock in here so I don't have to rush and 
make things when people order. I then have some highlighters, which I don't really use, but I like that they're colourful and pretty. I have a dish. Um, but I actually put a little bit of water in um, when I do my tape because it's water activated. So I put a little bit of water in there on my sponge and I wet the tape for sealing orders, but I just kind of sit it in there when it's not being used. Um, I've got my iPad here. It doesn't always stay there. I kind of take it with me wherever. I actually want to add a pole across here underneath to hang my tissue paper over so that I don't have to keep walking over to the other side of the room. I then have some product under here, lint rollers, my old iPad, a box of like second stickers. This desk, if you're interested, I think it's such a lovely size is from Ryman I think it was around 50 pounds and it's just perfect for this space and I love that I get to look at all this while I pack your orders so that's my desk it's really easy to keep tidy now that I have a dedicated space to pack orders and yeah I'm really happy with it I really really love it and then onto the final piece to share with you guys I've got some cutting mats here and some storage boxes these are perfect for things like postcards so I do have some postcards in there and then I have the famous Hobbycraft trolley, which I think everybody has. Again, a little bit messy, but practical. But on here, I have my packaging supplies. So I've got Eco Cello Glassine bags. There's some envelopes and things if I want to pop little seconds in them. Uh, packaging stickers and sweetie bags, which I use for a lot of packaging. My pencil case and like kind of video stuff, I don't know, just stuff that kind of I'll lose if I don't pop it in here. I then have loads of brown paper tape. I've got boxes uh, ready to go because they're right next to the desk here which are really helpful. And down here I've got my weekly planners and also some anti-back which is always good to have um, so I can clean the desk and everything before I pack orders. Yeah. It, it used to be really pretty, this. It used to be minimal and stuff, but it just wasn't practical like that, so I just have everything on there. And then to the side, I got the little cup things that go on, along with these attachments on the front. This is full of pens, things that I lose easily, scissors that I have so many of because I lose them all, buy a new pack, and then realise I found them all again. And a little meaty you bear holding on because he's cute. So yeah, that is the end of my studio tour. I think I've covered everything. If there's anything in this room you want to know where it's from, please just leave it in the comments below. I will let you know where it's from um, if I remember. I'm sure I will remember, but if you want to know, then please let me know. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this studio vlog. I hope it helped inspire you or, I don't know, maybe just like being nosy and seeing how things are. I know I'm a little bit like that. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.